Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have done some problems using the ratios of triangles with angles 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree and 45 degree, 45 degree and 90 degree. There was a homework. Let us take the answer now. In each of the following parallelograms, find the distance between the top and bottom side. Calculate the area of each parallelogram. Let us take one by one. Let us give a name for this parallelogram. Let us draw a perpendicular from D to the side AB. Let it meet AB at P. Now look at triangle APD. Angle A is 45 degree. Angle P is 90 degree. Therefore, angle D is also equal to 45 degree. That means it is a triangle with angles 45 degree, 45 degree and 90 degree. Therefore, the ratio between the sides is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. That means AP is to PD is to AD is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. PD is the distance between the top and bottom sides. So, we have to find it. We know AD is 2 centimeter. So, let us take the ratio between PD and AD that is equal to 1 is to root 2 that is PD is to AD equal to 1 is to root 2. AD is 2 replacing AD by 2 we get PD is to 2 equal to 1 is to root 2. Now PD into root 2 equal to 2 into 1. 2 into 1 is 2. To find PD let us take root 2 on the other side. Therefore, we get PD equal to 2 by root 2. Now, 2 means root 2 into root 2. So, we can write 2 by root 2 as root 2 into root 2 by root 2. Cancelling root 2 and root 2, we get root 2. That means 2 by root 2 equal to root 2 or PD equal to root 2 centimeters. That means the distance between the top and bottom side is root 2 centimeters. Now we have to find the area of this parallelogram. We know area of a parallelogram is BH where B is a side and H is the distance from that side to its opposite side. Here B can be taken as AB or 4 cm then H is PD or root 2 cm. Replacing the values we get 4 into root 2 or 4 root 2 cm square. That means the area of this parallelogram is 4 root 2 cm square. Now the second part of the problem, let us take the parallelogram. Let us give a name for this parallelogram. As in the previous case, draw a perpendicular from D to AB. Let it meet at P. Now look at triangle APD. Angle A is 60 degree, angle P is 90 degree. Therefore, angle D equal to 30 degree. So, it is a triangle with angles 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Therefore, the ratio between the sides is 1 is to root 3 is to 2. That means, AP is to PD is to AD is 1 is to root 3 is to 2. We have to find PD and we know AD. So, let us take the ratio between PD and AD. That is root 3 is to 2 or PD is to AD is root 3 is to 2. AD is 2. Replacing AD by 2, we get PD is to 2 equal to root 3 is to 2. The right side of each ratio is same. Therefore, the left side is also same. That means PD equal to root 3. Or you can do as we have done earlier. PD into 2 equal to 2 into root 3. Therefore, PD equal to 2 into root 3 by 2 or root 3. That means the distance between the top and bottom side is root 3 centimeters. Now we have to find the area. Area equal to BH. Here B is 4 centimeters and H is root 3 centimeters. Therefore, area equal to 4 into root 3 or 4 root 3 centimeters square. Today, let us do the remaining problems on page 103 and 104. A rectangular board is to be cut along the diagonal and the pieces are rearranged to form an equilateral triangle as shown below. The sides of the triangle must be 50 cm. What should be the length and breadth of the rectangle? This is a rectangular board. 
it is cut through the diagonal this triangle is placed here and this triangle is placed like this so we got an equilateral triangle given that the sides of the equilateral triangle are 50 centimeters we have to find the length and breadth of this rectangle given that this is an equilateral triangle and all the sides are equal to 50 centimeters therefore this side is 50 centimeters this is also 50 centimeters and this is also 50 centimeters since it is an equilateral triangle all the angles are equal to 60 degree so this angle is 60 degree this is also 60 degree and this is also 60 degree these two sides are equal and this is the point joining the two equal sides this triangle is placed here so this line is here and this line is here this angle is 90 degree therefore this line is perpendicular to this line that means this line is perpendicular to this line that means this is the perpendicular drawn from the point joining equal sides to the opposite side we know the perpendicular drawn from the point joining equal sides to the opposite side bisect the angle at this vertex and the side opposite to it that means this line bisect this angle and this side or this line makes this angle into two equal parts and makes this side into two equal parts or these two angles are equal this total angle is 60 degree therefore this angle is 30 degree in the same way this side is 50 centimeters so each part is 25 centimeters that means this length is 25 centimeters now let us give a name for the first triangle let it be abc ab is the breadth of this rectangle and bc is the length of this rectangle so it is enough to find bc now look at triangle abc it's a triangle with angles 30 degree 60 degree and 90 degree therefore the ratio of the sides is 1 is to root 3 is to 2 the smallest side in this triangle is opposite to 30 degree that is ab and the longest side is ac therefore ab is to bc is to ac is 1 is to root 3 is to 2 we have to find bc we know AB and AC. So let me take the ratio between AB and BC. That is AB is to BC equal to 1 is to root 3. AB is 25. Replacing AB by 25, we get 25 is to BC equal to 1 is to root 3. 25 into root 3 equal to BC into 1 or BC into 1 equal to 25 into root 3. BC into 1 means BC. 25 into root 3 means 25 root 3. Therefore, BC equal to 25 root 3 centimeters. BC equal to the length of the rectangle. Therefore, length of the rectangle is 25 root 3 centimeters. AB equal to breadth of the rectangle. Therefore, breadth of the rectangle equal to 25 centimeters. Next problem. Two rectangles are cut along the diagonal and the triangles got are to be joined to another rectangle to make a regular hexagon as shown below. If the sides of the hexagon are to be 30 centimeters, what would be the length and breadth of the rectangles? This rectangle is placed here. This rectangle is cut through the diagonal and the triangles are placed here. Similarly, this triangle is also cut through the diagonal and placed here. It is a regular hexagon and the sides are 30 centimeters. We have to find the length and breadth of these two rectangles. Let us give a name for the hexagon. It is a regular hexagon and the sides are 30 centimeters. Therefore, all these sides are 30 centimeters. Since it is a regular hexagon, each angle is 120 degree. Therefore, angle C is also 120 degree. These two triangles are obtained by cutting this rectangle through the diagonal therefore the triangles are equal that means these two angles are equal and their sum is 120 therefore each angle is 60 degree means this angle is 60 degree now this angle is a right angle therefore angle at b is 30 degree 
therefore triangle PBC is a triangle with angles 30 degree 60 degree and 90 degree therefore the ratio of the sides is 1 is to root 3 is to 2 that means PC is to PB is to BC is 1 is to root 3 is to 2 BC is 30 replacing BC by 30 we get PC is to PB is to 30 equal to 1 is to root 3 is to 2 now look at the last term 30 and 2 2 into 15 is 30 therefore when we multiply root 3 and 1 by 15 we get the values of PC and PB that is PC equal to 1 into 15 or 15 and PB equal to root 3 into 15 or 15 root 3 that means the ratio of the sides is 1 is to root 3 is to 2 and when we multiply each number by 15 we get the corresponding values 15, 15 root 3 and 30. PB is 15 root 3 centimeter. PB is the length of the small rectangle. Therefore, length of the small rectangle is 15 root 3 centimeter. PC is the breadth of the small rectangle. Therefore, breadth of the small rectangle is 15 centimeters. Now, we have got PB equal to 15 root 3 centimeters. Therefore, PD is also equal to 15 root 3 centimeter. Therefore, BD equal to 2 into 15 root 3 or 30 root 3 centimeters. BD is the length of the large rectangle. Therefore, length of the large rectangle is 30 root 3 centimeters. AB is the breadth of the large rectangle. Therefore, breadth of the large rectangle is 30 centimeters. Another problem. Calculate the area of the triangle shown. Let us give a name for the triangle. Area of a triangle is half BH where B is a side and H is the height to that side. Here the side AB is given as 4 cm. If we know the height to this side AB, we can find the area of triangle ABC. So let us draw the height to AB. It is the perpendicular from C to AB. Let the perpendicular meet AB at P. Now if we know the length of PC, we can find the area of this triangle. Suppose AP equal to X. Then what is PB? The total length AB is 4 cm. Since AP is X, PB is 4 minus X. Now look at the triangle APC. This angle is 45 degree. Since CP is a perpendicular, this angle is 90 degree. Therefore, angle at C is also equal to 45 degree. That is, it is a triangle with angles 45 degree, 45 degree and 90 degree. Therefore, the ratio of its sides is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. That means, if AP is 1, then PC is also 1 and AC is root 2. Here AP is x centimeter, therefore PC is also x centimeter and AC is root 2 x centimeters. Now look at triangle PBC. This angle B is 60 degree. We know this angle is 90 degree, therefore angle at C is 30 degree. That means it is a triangle with angles 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Therefore, the ratio of the sides is 1 is to root 3 is to 2. Here, the shortest side is opposite to the 30 degree angle and that is PB. Therefore, we can write the ratio as PB is to PC is to BC equal to 1 is to root 3 is to 2. PB is a part of the base and PC is the height. And BC is not at all necessary. So, let us take PB is to PC and that is equal to 1 is to root 3. Now let us replace the values of PB and PC. PB is 4 minus x and PC is x. So we can write 4 minus x is to x equal to 1 is to root 3. Now we know product of n terms equal to product of the middle terms. That is 4 minus x into root 3 equal to x into 1. Here we have to multiply each term within the bracket by root 3. 4 into root 3 is 4 root 3 minus x into root 3 is minus root 3 x and x into 1 is x. So we can write it as 4 root 3 minus root 3 x equal to x. 
Now let us take minus root 3 x on the other side of the equation. So we get 4 root 3 equal to x plus root 3 x. x means 1 into x, root 3 x means root 3 into x. We can take x outside and we can write it as x into 1 plus root 3. Now to find x, let us take 1 plus root 3 on the other side of the equation. We get 4 root 3 by 1 plus root 3 equal to x or x equal to 4 root 3 by 1 plus root 3. x is 4 root 3 by 1 plus root 3 means the height to the side AB is 4 root 3 by 1 plus root 3 centimeters. Now let us find the area of this triangle. Area is half BH. B means one side. We know AB is 4 centimeters and we have got PC. So we can write area is half into 4 into 4 root 3 by 1 plus root 3. Half into 4 is 2. So this can be written as 2 into 4 root 3 by 1 plus root 3. 2 means 2 by 1. When we multiply two fractions, we have to multiply the numerators and then we have to multiply the denominators. So 2 into 4 root 3 is 8 root 3. 1 into 1 plus root 3 is 1 plus root 3. So this can be written as 8 root 3 by 1 plus root 3. That means area of this triangle is 8 root 3 by 1 plus root 3 centimeter square. Today we have discussed problems on page 103 and 104. In the next video we shall discuss the next section new measure of angles. Till then bye.